Waveland Clock Tower stands tall here in Lincoln Park, and it's truly one of Chicago's visual landmarks. But there's more history here than you would have ever thought. When Lincoln Park was being expanded northward from Diversity to Montrose in the 1920s, Lincoln Park commissioners included a field house and the construction plans. Field houses had been very popular on the south side to accompany the growing trend of outdoor sports. The Waveland Field House would provide restrooms, locker rooms, and a meeting space for the planned golf course, tennis courts, and athletic fields. Right around that time, there was a wealthy Chicagoan, Mrs. Annie Wolford, and in her will, she left a bequest for a Carillon Tower. She had memories of her childhood of visiting a town in Massachusetts that had a beautiful tower like this, and she really wanted one for Chicago. So she passed away in 1927, and $50,000 was given to the Lincoln Park commissioners. The same architect who designed the city's first aquarium in the Lincoln Park Zoo, which is now the Park Place Cafe, and the Lincoln Park Cultural Center, was asked to design the field house. On a $150,000 budget, architect Edwin Clark designed an English Gothic field house with a four-story clock tower. It's really quite an exquisite building. So you can see there's an open loggia and then the arches are framed by this beautiful limestone. When you look over here, as your eye goes up, look at how wonderful the arches are around the openings. Oh yeah, that's beautiful at the top. They call that crenulated. So you'd sort of see that in a, an ancient castle. With these kinds of buildings, there's this great sense of verticality. So you're always kind of looking upwards. Looking up, we wondered what it would look like inside the 55-foot clock tower, which unlike the rest of the building, was never open to the public. The folks at the Chicago Park District agreed to let us in. All right, we're ready to go where very few have gone before, and the Chicago Park District has to had to call in Andy Sperando, the locksmith of Chicago Park District. Now, what do you have in your hand there? You well, have about two million keys. Yes, I have a, at least a hundred keys here. Well, if we get lucky, we'll find the right one to open up this magic door. All right, well, let's give it a shot. Okay. So where do we go? Believe it or not, we have to go through that little door right there. Oops. I'm gonna let you lead the way. Okay. We came to a small room where we found the machine that used to play the chimes in the clock tower. When you look at the equipment here, it says Deegan Electric Player. So that must have been the company that, that actually made the, the clockworks and the original chimes. J.C. Deegan Company here in Chicago was actually the largest manufacturer of tubular bell chimes in the world, building more than 400 between 1917 and 1958. We then made our way to our second stop, where we found the collection of 25 gigantic tubular bells. People probably always wondered what it looks like in here. Yep, well, here you go. The weight of the heaviest bell here is a mystery, but it could weigh up to 600 pounds. Although these bells no longer ring, they still work. Well, about 20 years ago, there was a man named Kurt Mangel, who was an expert on these old chimes, and he came in and restored them. And um, so they were played a couple of times, but he moved to Philadelphia. So I don't think there's even anybody in Chicago that would know how to actually get this up and running again. Then we headed up to the very top of the tower to see what was behind the four giant clocks that face each direction over Lincoln Park. So here we are. Oh, wow. I can hear all of the clocks working right now. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? They're teeny tiny little clocks that make the really big clocks that we see. So they're only about the size of my hand, really. Visiting Chicago's landmarks is like going back in time. And the view from the top wasn't too bad either. So, Julia, this has been quite an adventure today, climbing to the top of the Waveland Clock Tower with all of this history right here in the middle of Lincoln Park. And you might say we're making history today because here we are in a space where very few people in Chicago really can come and see. To check out the tower for yourself, head to Chicago's Lakeshore at Waveland between Addison and Irving Park Road. Uh -huh.